Christ I am, and it is time for math. What have we been learning about lately? We've been learning about money. We've learned about coins. What other money is there? The big pieces of paper? Uh, dollars, five dollars, those are called bills. They've written, we've been learning about coins, which are little metal pieces. And there are other coins than this. There are whole dollar coins, and there are half dollar coins, 50 cent coins. We're not looking at those right now. It's just four, how many, we've learned about four coins, and that's enough. Can you name those four coins for me? Hmm. Penny. What's this one? It's, a, it's not a quarter. It's too small to be a quarter. This is a nickel. And over here we've got a dime. And this is our biggest coin of the four. This is the quarter. The half dollar is actually bigger than the quarter. I'm not worrying about it right now, but I just want you to know that it's out there. If you see a coin bigger than a quarter, it's very likely a half dollar. Or there are some old dollar coins that are that big too. Alright, so... How much are each of these worth? What's the value of them? Because remember, they each have a certain value. They're worth, they're each worth less than a dollar. So what do we call the unit that's less than a dollar? There's dollars and cents. Okay, so there are, how many cents in a dollar, do you know? There are 100 cents in a dollar. That's what cent means. Cent means a hundred. So the Latin means a hundred. So it's one one hundredth, or it's one piece of one hundred. If you cut a dollar into a hundred pieces the same size, that's a cent. A hundred cents in a dollar. And how much is the penny? Each of these coins is worth a certain number of cents. Just like a dollar is worth 100 cents, each of these is worth a number of cents. How much is the penny worth? How many cents? Give you a hint, it's one of the easier ones to add. The penny is worth one cent. So if the penny is worth one cent, and there are 100 cents in a dollar, how many pennies are there in a dollar? A dollar is worth how many pennies? 100. And how about the nickel? How many cents is the value of a nickel? What is the nickel worth? What is its value? It's the number of cents. It is worth 5 cents. And how about the dime? The dime, remember, is smaller in size than the, the penny or the nickel. But how much what is its value in cents? It's worth 10. So the dime is worth 10 cents. Even though it's smaller in size, it is worth more. Okay? You can't tell the, size of the value of a coin just by the size and how much it is. You have to learn it. And the last one, the quarter. Well, the quarter is the biggest, and it is worth the most of all the coins here. So in the quarter, the size does match the value, and the, size, the value of the quarter is it's more than the it's more than the dime. It's twenty five. I don't have that many fingers or toes. So, what does that mean, though? That means that. One nickel is worth five, what, pennies? Because a penny is one cent. And one dime is worth two of which coin? Can't be the quarter, because the quarter is already worth more than the dime. So adding another quarter would just be worth more, right? So the quarter, a dime is worth, let's see, a nickel is five. And another nickel is another five, that's ten. And that's what our dime is. A dime is worth ten, twice as many much as a nickel. So if you have two nickels and one dime, they will buy you the same amount of things. Just like 
How many pennies are in a dime? Well, a dime is worth 10 cents, and a penny is worth 1 cent. How many ones is there in 10? There are 10. So a dime is worth 10 pennies. All right, and a quarter is worth how many pennies? Well, you just said it's worth 25 cents, and a penny is a cent, so 25 pennies. All right. That's just something I wanted to go over today and get you started on. Today we're not going to have to worry about how many go into how many. Don't worry about that, how, how to compare the values. Today we're going to work on adding up the values. So what you have to remember is a penny is worth one cent, a nickel is worth five cents, a dime is worth ten cents, and a quarter is worth twenty-five cents. So. How much would you have if you add three pennies? Start really simply. How many cents would this be? Well, with pennies, it's really easy to count, right? You just count one, two, three. And that's how many cents you have. Three pennies, three cents. It's trickier when you start adding different kinds of coins. What happens if you add one nickel and one penny? Well, it starts out as if you add one penny and one nickel. One, and then you have, what's the nickel worth? Five. So if we're putting the numbers together, what kind of math uh, operator, we call an operator, what kind of math is that? That is, is that subtraction? No, if we're putting values together, that's addition, right? All right, so what would that be? Well, a penny is worth one cent, and a nickel is worth five cents, so one plus five. How do you figure 1 plus 5? 1 penny, 5 cents for the nickel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 plus 5 is 6. That's whether you're talking about play it pure numbers or cents. Okay, let's try a different one. How about if we had two nickels? What would that be? What would be the number that we write down underneath it? 5. And the other nickel is also five. What we, so what are we, how are we, we're adding this, so what does that look like? Five plus five equals, what's five plus five? Five plus five. Ten. So, think about that number, ten. What if we had a penny plus a dime? Well, let's see. What would be a good strategy for this? Now remember, when you're adding things, it doesn't matter what order they're in. So let's switch it around and make this a little bit easier by making it a dime. For now, we make a dime plus a penny. So what's a dime? How many cents is that worth? You just said it. Ten. That's one of the things we're learning. A dime is worth ten cents. Plus, a penny is worth how many? One. Ten plus one. Well, we just worked on adding numbers to 10. So what do we do? We just add those together and we get 11. So we have 11 cents when you have a dime and a penny. This makes sense, right? The more coins you have, the more money you have and the more cents you have. All right, let's do one more together. Suppose we had, we're going to get into big numbers here. But we have practiced adding these numbers together. What is 10? Well, let's say, what is a nickel plus a dime plus a dime? Well, let's see. A nickel is how much? Five. And a dime is how much? Ten. We just did that. And the, if one dime is ten, the other dime is what? Is another ten, right? So 5 plus 10 plus 10, how do we figure that? Well, what's 5 plus 10? We just did 1 plus 10. 5 plus 10 works the same way. You take the 5 and to add the 10, you put a number in the 10's column right next to it, and that's 15. And now we have another 10. And we, we talked about adding 10 plus 10, right? How do you do that? You add another with the number in the 10's column, which is what? 1. To add 10, you change you add that directly to this. You may raise this by another 
raise the tens column by another one, right, for the next ten, which is one, ten plus ten equals twenty. One plus one equals two, which means ten plus ten equals twenty. So twenty, and you keep the five where it is, twenty-five. And what's 25? What's worth 25 cents that we just talked about? There's a coin worth 25 cents. It is the quarter. Well done. Now we're going to, we're not going to go higher than a quarter right now. All right, I'm going to give you a worksheet with this. I hope it was understandable. Bye, guys.